All right, today, yeah, if you guys are ever feeling lonely here in uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, you just go to Riverside. Um, uh, it's called Riverside Park, and uh, right across the street there will be Royal Palace, and then like a block down, there's uh, a temple as well. It looks a lot like the palace, <clears throat> and it's free to enter. They probably have about 30 chaos back here. Of uh, all different sizes, they even have little babies. Like, like here we got uh, Mufasa. And this one is Simba. Um, he's the friendliest of all of them. He keeps jumping on you. If you're really having a conversation with anybody, he will jump on you. You kitty. How you get back here is there's a gate behind the temple, actually. And that's where all the cats are kept, is back here. There's a little temple thing here. And there's all types of cats. And what you'll notice about these cats is that they don't have half their tails cut off, it looks like. And I asked all the locals about it. Like, some cats have a long tail, but most of the cats that you see around camp in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, half their tail is cut off. And the locals claim not to know anything about it. Um, some Europeans were thinking that maybe it's the cats are born this way. It's like it's some breed that they have around here. The tail does curl a little bit at the end, just calico. Yeah. So we got two ladies that take care of the cats. And they actually keep babies, the newest generation, underneath here. Like here. You see them in there. The lady never likes it when I take them out, though, but yeah, some newborns down there. This cat here just keeps following me around. But yeah, these ladies are always here just taking care of these cats. Alright. Yeah, there's, there's the baby kitten nursing with the mother. So, hi. Yeah, and what she feeds them usually is uh, cooked rice. And she'll mix it with like some bread. Um, and the cats actually do eat it. You know how good it is. They, they set like a pile back here behind the temple. Um, but I saw a big fat rat waddling over to it. And he would go grab a mouthful and then carry it into the bushes where he lives. So the, the rat was as big as the darn chaos. So kind of walked over there and I want to see where he's taking it. There's about three more rats over there too. So there's a gate here that's always locked, but... Multiple. Yeah, the cats are just laying all over around here. But yeah, the ladies always have two saucers out. This one's got water in it. This one must have food in it sometimes. I've never seen the food in it, but what happened last time is right where this cat's laying, there's a big pile of rice, cooked rice, and this darn rat would waddle around from this corner here, and I was like, man, where's he coming from? And he's coming from inside these bushes here, all these, all they are is tr uh, trees and plants that they put, uh, they're in pots, they're not actually growing in the ground, but yeah, that's where the rats were living is back here, so. I always have a couple of vehicles back here. And you, oh, there's a Buddhist monk up there, so they're all living here. And I asked some of the locals here, as like if, it, if this is like Cambodia, where uh, like all the boys are required to be a Buddhist monk for like one year. It's like tradition going into manhood. Well, here's the hole. I'm sure rats crawl out of that. And uh, nobody seems to know. So, and here's the big temple here. Lots of days it's shut up, uh, which actually they, today it looks like it's shut. The doors here are closed. But the main floor on the, the first floor, that one's always open. Usually there will always be a Buddhist monk praying there. So they got incense sticks here. I've, I've never been here when anybody's put any incense in here. This gate is always locked. Got a lock on it. gold for the statues and 
And here's the gate that whenever I come here, it's always open. It does have a pad lock on it, but it's open. But the front gate to this place does close at night. I don't know, I'd say probably like six o'clock or so maybe. Walk around here. Just saw a big truck hauling all these gold chairs out of here. They must have had a, a big ceremony here last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, they must have definitely had a ceremony here. See all the drapery here? I did not see that here last night. And uh, food wrappers everywhere. In which one of the girls down, down in Riverside, she was all dressed up last night. She said she was in a wedding party last night. So I would not doubt it if they had a wedding here. And amazingly, actually, the, the temple on the main floor here is closed, which that usually never happens. And then we uh, have some chickens that live here too. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this is a rooster or a normal chicken, but that's a rooster. That's a hen. This one here, not sure. Oh wow, yeah, I have never seen this much drape for you guys. They do not have this thing set up last night. So. Yeah, they all went all out here. I got all the cushions put on the chairs here. And here are all the chairs without the cushions. So. Oh. They do have the door open. A bunch of people are up there. So. Walk around some more. Was there a wedding here last night? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. They don't speak English. They said. All right. Kingdom of Cambodia. So this is the thing I found out about this area here. Uh, it kind of goes around here, but. All these bigger temples, they all have fences around them. You can't get to them. And just like over here, this big monument, they have a fence around it. It's right here. Another fence around that, so. Yeah, you can't even see everything here. And which, that it, would, it amazes me because in the back they're doing some construction, but it's on a totally different building. It's not on the religious things here. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, they do have the pad lock locked, so. Yeah, they definitely love the color gold. Everything around here is painted gold. Uh, yeah, living here in Phnom, in, uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the thing I love about it is like I'm a cat person <clears throat> and uh, it's these people love cats they're everywhere you see a few dogs but uh, um, I, I'm not a fan of dogs in the city I do not like stepping in dog poop everywhere they belong on farms out in the country um, so it's nice having cats here where they bury all that stuff and you don't step in it When you go to Thailand, it's a different story though. You'll see a lot of dogs in Thailand. They did an amazing job in these elephant statues. They're made out of concrete, I believe, actually. Paint is coming off them, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're concrete, you guys. It's a whole truck filled with these chairs, just like the other little semi. And we got a big Buddha statue here. A little Buddha. They like the fat Buddha here. And I'm not sure if that's wood or not. I don't know, you guys. Another look at the big temple. And here are the golden gates here. This is the entrance that we all use to 
get into here and this this here actually comes from Riverside so when you guys are in Phnom Penh when you're walking through the park along the river and where the Royal Palace is you'll see it across the street from the river and here's the giant bell and the big mallet that the monks swing back and forth to rain it I've never been around here when they've actually rained it though, you guys. So. I'm on Riverside every night, so I was not raining at night. And actually, I don't think I've walked all the way down here. I see there's a big rhinoceros statue. So. Palock around this gate, and there's a couple sinks back here. Uh, rest, men's restroom, and uh, men's restroom. I'm not sure if those other ones are women's or not. This is a monk's complex, so mostly males here. another building here I almost think that a lot of the monks like uh, live inside of these here so like I said most of these monks they are young um, uh oh oh no baby chicks I haven't seen these in a long long time mama just ran in the bushes but the little babies are here if I wasn't holding this camera I would catch one I haven't held a baby chicken like forever and they fed them rice. We got fried rice for chickens. Fried rice. And more of a white rice. It looks fried. And some water for them to drink. And a bunch of the Buddhist robes are getting washed. So. <coughs> yeah, and we got a pickup coming in here in this other gate, which is usually never open. We got the gargoyles holding up the roof. These gargoyles are not functioning. They're not like rain spouts. They're uh, purely for look. Got more monks coming in. Should ride in. Yeah, boy, from down here, that the temple just looks huge. Here we got uh, some statues. The car is trying to get through. Oh, and we have an eating area here for the monks. So am I sleeping in a dog? There's Mama with all her baby tickets. Yeah, they have a lot of rhinoceroses here, you guys. Which I know elephants have always been popular in Asia, but there's a lot of rhinoceroses too. Up and there's the entrance to all the all of their tents that they set up here. Like I said, I, I don't know if they had a wedding and nobody else understands the English, so. Got a bunch of tables here that they had set up.
Last time I got up here, this was locked. I could not get in here, but there are shoes here. So. And they actually had a bunch of statues stored in here before, but um, they took them out. So stuff is always getting moved around or out here for different ceremonies. Yeah, and if any of you guys are thinking about making a permanent move to Asia to start a new life like I did, definitely try Cambodia. Like I said, I spent a lot of time in the Philippines and, and uh, Thailand over the years, and I just loved them. And coming to this country here for the first time, it, it took me a few days to kind of, I wasn't sure how to feel about it. But uh, like I said, it's, it's like Thailand but it's like Thailand from the 1950s, like when my grandma and grandpa were still dating. Like everybody still, everything just seems like it's in black and white. People are riding old bicycles from like the 1950s, the old, the motorcycles around here are like from 1992. People dress very simple. They're not trying to show off for the Joneses. I love it. The women don't have tattoos all over their body, all over their legs like Thailand does. Um, I'm not a fan of tattoos, in case you didn't understand, but uh, especially on the legs, I, I don't think they look good. And it's my mistake, this uh, temple is open up here. The monks are vacuuming here. And they took off their shoes, so. I will kick off my shoes too. <laughs> yeah, lots of gold up in the front. <coughs> lots of wooden statues. I honestly think that they're like constantly carving new ones. Because there's like some old ones that were like all burnt up and and one of the storage buildings the other day when I was here. Oh, take out. Okay. Yeah, the monk just pointed at me. He said, "Do not, uh, do not videotape inside of the there." So. Uh, we got doors open, but like, like you said, we're not supposed to videotape inside of there, though, so. And here we're peeking over the back balcony where all the cats live. The lady with all the cats just gathered around here. The other lady with the, all the cats nursing off the mother. Big gold arches there. So. Then over here is that big temple that we can't get to because it's all fenced off. So. And like I said, I haven't seen them doing any construction on it. It's got a construction fence around it and lots of bricks, but nobody's been in there. They've been building that brand new building, so it might actually be another temple complex that they're building. So. And that that building there belongs to the monks. That one too. Those are more plain. I think they're they're living there. I can see their their gowns hanging out the back. Then there is a gold gateway back there from the main street, but you can't even get through there anyways to get into the cat. But the cats are all stored. So Yeah, just beautiful architecture, you guys. And then at the entrance to that big temple, that one's pretty long. They got the two big statues. Little dog sleeping.
And they do actually have air conditioners on these, on that building anyways. See two units hanging out this back. So. Howdy. And here I only see two flags up in the pole, but when you walk along Riverside, they actually have three flags over here. So, kick on my shoes. Big boot up front. Like I said, here's the big entrance that we go in and out. And you see these little birdhouse kind of like altars all over. They're, they're in all the parks and stuff like that. Hey, you're making a movie, man. Where you going? Yeah, just getting people to come on over here. Yes, yeah, I'm to see my driver. family. Yeah. The truck driver in town. Yeah, so I'll show you. I'll show yeah. the truck check. Yeah, take and then they have one the thing. hour in the city. The best. Yeah. And this is it. It says Buddhist Cultural Center of Cambodia. Maybe you can go to the shooting club here. Oh, oh no, thank you. Welcome to the most venerable on Zebu and Myanmar delegations. And this year, I forgot what they call them. They're the, they're the tra traditional mode of transportation for uh, Cambodia. A guy sits on the back there and he pedals and he pushes you around the city. And yeah, it's very old school, you guys. That's actually made out of wood. And this one here is just a one-seater. Um, there might have been some that actually can haul two people. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's ones that actually haul, can haul two passengers up front, but this one's really narrow. And then this is also another traditional mode of transportation. The, um, the motorcycle pulling a kind of almost like a horse-drawn carriage. And these cost, the, like these are more expensive than the normal little uh, taxis because it's like nostalgic, it's touristy. And then these here, are more expensive than taxis too because instead of just having one passenger seat in the back it's got another one so you can haul you know technically probably six people in here um, if you're just normal sized people so. and like I said where this is is uh, let's see here we got the pizza company and uh, 313 Quayside When you go up to the main street here, there's a lot of traffic there to get over to, to the riverside. There is a statue with some men ho riding horses here. Yeah, yeah two men riding, uh, riding horses over there. And then this here is, is your normal taxi right here around Phnom Penh and this is the cheapest route to go so so that's that and as you will see Phnom Penh has a lot of traffic we have 2.3 million people living in this city and uh, amazingly sometimes it does get a little bit quieter you guys uh, you have rush hour in the morning when everybody's heading to work and rush hour in the evening when everybody's heading to work and I'm talking like four o'clock it's gonna be freaking crazy around here and you just, and nobody, this, there aren't that many street lights here. You just kind of start walking into the street when you see kind of a little bit of an opening. And you just keep eye contact with the person and slowly walk across. And lots of times I'll end up on the middle yellow line. 
um, and uh, they'll slow down for me and then I'll proceed across the street. So, but yeah, that should about do enough for this video. Like I said, this here is the, the Buddhist temple where you go to see the chaos whenever you're feeling lonely and it's free of charge. And uh, actually over there, down one of those streets, they have uh, Phnom Penh's uh, first um, uh, chaos cafe. And I actually walked in there and uh, on the main floor, they sell, you know, like litter, bo litter boxes and litter and food and toys for your kiat. Um, but you have to buy a ticket for $3.50 to go upstairs to actually see the kiat. I, I didn't want to buy a coffee. I just wanted to actually just see the place since I just moved here to Phnom Penh. And uh, the staff said, no, 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 you have, to, you have to buy a ticket to go see the kiat. And I was like, well, I already went to the Buddhist temple and just saw all the kiats for free because we've got 30 of them over there. So... Alright, catch you guys later.